Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's doing well today. I've had a pretty mellow day. I've been working on my beauty room and kind of cleaning everything up. I actually got dinner cooked before 10 a.m. today, so you can call me Miss Productive. Other than that, I feel like I'm in a really chatty mood, so please let me know what's been going on in your life down below in the comment section so we can have a conversation. And before we get started with today's video, if you're sitting there looking at my face saying, what's wrong with your face? I just wanna let you know, Stupidly, before I got on camera, I started squeezing bumps on my face, so it's all red. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, my name's Melissa, and around here we do all types of beauty content. For instance, today's video is an in-depth review and a tutorial featuring this palette right here, and this is from Natasha Denona, and this is the Camel Palette. The first part of this video is gonna be the tutorial part, and then the second part of the video is gonna be the in-depth review. So of course, if you're interested in hearing my experience with this and my personal thoughts, then stay tuned for the second half of this video. Now, before getting too deep into it, I just wanna let you know that this is the most used palette in my entire collection. I use this palette all the time, I love it. This is a truly neutral palette, so it doesn't lean too warm and it doesn't lean too cool. And also, this is the bigger mini size, so you can get the truly mini size ones for about $25, and these bigger minis cost 48. We'll break down the prices more in the cost evaluation part of the video, but I just wanna give you a little heads up on to how much these kind of palettes cost. So guys, this past weekend was my son's first ever homecoming dance. And of course my husband and I had to go and we had to take all these fancy pictures and everything. So I had to dress up and this is what I wore. As you know, with my eyeshadow looks, I kind of like to go really bold and crazy. But when I'm going to a really special event, I use this palette because I like to keep it toned down. This is the absolute perfect palette to tone down a look and we're gonna get right into the tutorial right now. All right guys, hello and welcome to the tutorial. I pulled you guys up closer so you can get a good look at what's going on on my eye. And as you know, I like to start with my prep steps. And for this look, we're gonna start with a tight line. And the liner that I chose to go with this look is a very nice copper tone pencil liner. The one that I'm personally using is from Trace Luce Beauty, but you can use any copper tone liner that you have. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tight line my upper waterline with this. Once done, we're gonna start our three-step eye priming routine. And I have been doing this routine so long, you probably already know this verbatim, so I'm just gonna put this on and tell you a little bit about this homecoming dance situation. So like I said earlier, this was my son's first ever homecoming. He's 14 years old and he's in the ninth grade. I homeschooled him all the way up till ninth grade. This is the first year, his high school freshman year, that he's going to an actual academy. So I've never had to worry about dances before, so. You know, this is all new to us and everything. Well, the thing is, I have really, really bad anxiety and my anxiety gets even worse when I'm amidst a group of people. I hate meeting new people. I get so scared. I shake and I have a breakdown. It just freaks me out and I just can't handle it. So we had to drive about an hour away to go take all these fancy pictures and everything before the actual dance started at 7.30. And his class only has about 18 people in it or so, but all the parents were there, all the grandparents were there, all the dates were there. And of course my son had his first date with this girl and I've never met her before. And by chance, she's in a grade lower than he is, so I shouldn't have anxiety about it. But of course, I was having just a natural anxiety about meeting his date. And of course, before a fancy dance, you're supposed to get the girl a corsage. So I texted one of the moms in the class that knows everything, and she said, no, we're not doing corsages, we're doing bouquets. And when I was in high school, I've never received a bouquet. I've never bought a hand bouquet before. I had no idea what to do. So... My husband and I went up to Kroger and we just bought a bouquet of flowers. We thought that was just what you were supposed to do. So come to find out, we get to Lake Blackshear to take the pictures and everybody has their bouquets. And these are floral bouquets from a florist. They have the most beautiful flowers in them perfectly arranged. And these things probably had a cost between 50 and $60. And here we show up with this stupid little bouquet of flowers that goes into a vase costing $7. We had to hand over these flowers to this girl. It was so embarrassing. But on the flip side, her and her mother forgot the little flower boutonniere or something that goes on my son's shirt. So it kind of worked out in the end, but I was so embarrassed. So for today's eye look, we're gonna create a very standard, simple eye look. So we're not doing anything crazy, anything insane, anything out of the ordinary. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the middle shade and apply this above my crease like normal. So at the lake, we start taking pictures and we're there for probably about an hour. Oh, and not to mention, 
I was dressed up for this event, okay? I thought you were supposed to be kind of dressy because it's a homecoming event and all the other parents and grandparents there were dressed down in jeans and t-shirts. So I already felt out of place, not to mention my anxiety was flaring. I was a stupid one wearing a dress and some bedazzled sandals or something. So everybody was staring at me. I was embarrassed again. I'm going into the very last shade in the palette and I'm putting this directly into the crease, blending upward now. So about halfway through the pictures, I just can't handle it anymore and I start getting very dizzy and I feel lightheaded and I start shaking all over. I'm just, I know I'm about to have a breakdown. So I go to my husband, I ask him for the keys and I walk to the car and I go and sit in the car, turn on the AC and just chill out, try to calm down and everything. And that was only the beginning of the night. The next step was we had to go to this fancy restaurant. A dinner for two costed $120 and this restaurant was still 45 minutes away. So then we had to drive all the way to the homecoming dance that began at 7.30. So we didn't know that Charlie's date did not have a ride to the dance. So from the dinner place, we forgot to give her a ride. So she had a ride with another boy from the class to get to the dance. So yet again, another embarrassing moment. I'm going in with the first shade in this palette and putting this on my very outer corner, blending up and in. So once we get to the dance, it's a really tiny school. So they do something called a senior walkout where everybody knows everybody and all the alumnus are there and everybody's just having a good time talking to each other. But I'm telling you, this building is super tiny and I'm stuck against these balloons like a little sardine. I can't breathe, I'm sweating like crazy. Again, feeling dizzy. These seniors start walking out. You know, you have the prince, the king, the queen, all these fancy dressed up people. There's no room for them to stand, so they're backing up against me and I'm like, I can't breathe over here, you know? I'm trying to get out. I lost my husband, my son's nowhere to be found. I'm all by myself. I'm taking the darker metallic shade and putting this on the center of my lid. So after a little while, the DJ starts playing some more, you know, popular music. And then the head principal comes out and says, this is the parent's signal to leave the building. So I left finally and I met my husband outside and he was talking to a group of people. So I had to be friendly and talk to everybody out there and I was very uncomfortable. Now I'm taking the lightest shimmer shade and putting this on the very front of my eye. So after we are little social birds for a little bit, we finally get back to the car and we head home. Actually, we go to the gas station first to get a little snack and then we head home. For the lower lash line, I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette and connecting it to this very outer corner and going halfway. And then I'm taking the lightest matte shade in the palette and putting this on the inner part of the lower lash line. For inner corner highlight, I'm just taking that little shimmer shade and putting this on the inner corner and then lightly on the brow bone as well. A good tip is to take your finger and blend out your brow bone highlight. It just works really nicely. I usually do this before I do the lower lash line, but I just felt like since I had the eyeshadow palette, why not? I'm gonna take this pencil liner and line my waterline with this. Now I'm gonna give my lashes a quick curl Oh no guys, the stress is not over yet. I've been watching the news and we have a hurricane coming this weekend. My house is an absolute wreck so I'm trying to get everything prepared for it and I am not ready. I'm taking this testing mascara. It's a high-end mascara but I'm not sure which brand it is and I'm just going to coat my lashes with this. Just a light coat, nothing significant. And this look also looks really pretty if you coat your lower lashes just very lightly with the same mascara. Okay, so here's the finished eye look. And let me tell you, if you have a full face of makeup done, this eye look looks spectacular. I'm gonna go off camera right now and do my other eye real quick, kind of sort things out. And I'll be right back and we will talk about this look. All right, guys, here's my finished eye look using the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. Like I said, this is my most worn eye look and my most used palette in my entire eyeshadow palette collection. That's saying something because I have a ton of palettes. Not only is this look super easy to do, but it's completely wearable for any outfit, any event, anything that you need. I think it looks a lot darker on the eyes than the palette would suggest, but I think it looks good either way. And lastly, if you're a true neutral lover, this palette is a must have in your collection. So without much further left to say, let's get right on into the review. Hey guys, welcome to part two of this video, which is the in-depth review of this palette right here, which is the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. 
the first thing I always like to talk about is the packaging. So right here we have a nice plastic casing packaging and you can see through to the actual shadows. I do love a plastic casing packaging because it does a great job of protecting the shadows within. On the back you'll notice little tiny pinpoint holes and through those holes you can pop a needle or something and pop each individual shade out and put them into a palette or rearrange the shades inside. Upon opening this pot you'll see five different eyeshadows weighing in at 2.5 grams each which is an astronomical amount of product. Within the five different shadows you're going to have three different formulas. You're going to have three of her creamy mattes, one metallic shade, and one shimmer shade. Therefore, this palette consists of 60% matte shadows and 40% shimmers. So I would consider this palette a very well-rounded and balanced layout. Real quick, I'm gonna pop up a picture of some swatches that I did take from this palette so you can see how every shade looks swatched out. Quickly moving into our routine data check, firstly, this palette is not clarified as being any type of clean or conscious formula. This palette is cruelty-free. This palette is not vegan, and there is a 24 month expiration date, and that is located on the back of the palette itself. Now, getting into the cost evaluation, if you went out and bought this palette as it is today, it would cost you $48. Breaking that down a little bit comes to $9.60 per shade. Breaking that down a bit further, it comes to $3.84 per gram. So comparing this palette to similar palettes offered on the market, the price per shade is quite expensive. And additionally, this palette has quite of an expensive cost per gram compared to other palettes that I've previously reviewed. So now you know what time it is. It's time for the most opinionated part of this video, which is my recommendation. The first things I'm going to talk about is patching, creasing, staining, fading, and blendability. As far as patchiness, while working with this palette, you're not going to experience any sort of patchiness. For creasing, I wore my eyeshadow look for 11 hours straight and I did see signs of creasing and a little bit of wear on my eyes. After 11 hours of wear, I didn't see any signs of fading of any of the colors on my eyes. None of these shades in here are pressed pigments, so I didn't have any staining. I also tested these shadows on both a set base and an unset base, and I prefer how they work on a set base. I had a little bit more difficulty blending them, and I did have some more conspicuous lines on the unset base. So if you're going to use this for the best experience, I definitely recommend setting your primer with a loose finishing powder. As far as critiques, I do appreciate that this goes from light to mid-tone to deep. Since this is a quint palette, I don't really expect it to carry so much depth, but it does have a little bit of it and I do like that. This palette does provide for one solid look and that's all I can ask for it to do. As far as shade redundancy, these two matte shades look kind of similar. They're a bit different if you wanna get technical with it, but I would personally like to see a bit more variation when it comes to these two shades. And as I swatched this and used it on my eyes, I didn't experience any dud shades whatsoever. The mattes in here are definitely a more buildable formula, so you're going to have to layer them up quite a bit to get the intensity that you desire. The shimmer shade in here has a pigmented base, so it does great for a single shadow look. The metallic in here has mobile mica particles in it, so if you get fallout while using it, the fallout can be quite difficult to remove. I also attempted all application methods with the two non-mattes in here, and any method of application that you choose to use, meaning your finger, a damp brush, or a dry brush, they all work perfectly. And lastly, if you've been on the fence about this palette, if you've been eyeing it or considering a very neutral palette option, I definitely recommend getting this. This is a true neutral lover's dream palette. Of course, I have three reasons why I recommend this. My first reason is that this palette is super easy to work with if you set your base. You are not going to run into any issues, any problems, nothing. This is going to do all the work for you. My second reason is that this palette outlines the perfect daily routine eye look. Like I said, this palette goes from light to mid-tone to deep, and it has a perfect ratio of mattes to non-mattes, and it does everything in your favor. And my third reason is that this little mini palette contains some of Natasha Denona's most iconic formulas at a reduced price. So if you've always wanted to try some of Natasha Denona's eyeshadows but didn't want to fork over that high dollar cost, this is a great way to get your hands on it and try three different formulas that are really, really popular. So yeah, guys, as I rated this palette for this week, I gave this one an A. Like I said, I use this palette all the time and it is certainly on par with my most favorite benchmark formulas in my collection. And that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And if you did, please give me a giant thumbs up. And if you didn't, just hit that thumbs down button. And until next time, 